I think that we're entering into a period where you're going to see um, meaningful profit taking in energy over the next couple of weeks, provided we continue to get uh, some negative COVID data out of China. That's really what we're seeing here. Um, you know, I think the 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 COVID lockdowns um, are going to be extended and expanded. And I think that, you know, I think there's a reasonable concern that that could uh, contribute to slow down in what is already expected to be a slowing global economy. So I think that there's probably a little bit more of a washout here as we get some more profit taking. And all of those attributes that Bryn listed, there are other sectors where that's available as well. So I, I wouldn't be buying the dip right just yet here. Oh, so then you must be selling EOG and Valero then. I mean, if you're negative on the space, right? Uh, massively, massively underweight to my uh, my peers here okay. on the investment committee, Scott and Energy. You know that. Those are my only two energy names, and, um, and I wouldn't be adding to them here. Um, although I think longer term, three or four years out, we're still in an undersupplied energy market. So you, you think about holding these stocks for that long? I mean, look, I, I only ask you, um, and, of course, I, I know what you said is, is true. Um, those stocks are up a lot, right? EOG over the last year is up 62 percent. Valero's up 44. I mean, if you're kind of negative on the space, why not take the money and run? Well, because I think longer term, we're going to get some opportunities here. And, you know, these aren't big positions for me. Um, I actually don't know that in the next few weeks there isn't going to be another opportunity to buy energy. I just don't think it's today. I think we're going to continue to see pressure. I think there's a rotation here, Scott, that's starting, and it's going to be for the next few weeks as people are looking to, to reinvest their, their energy um, allocations a little bit differently over the next few weeks. You don't let me get away with anything. I know you too well, Shannon. All right, the market itself, Friday <laughs> Huge decline. Today looks like we're going to back it up, and then we have a big reversal. What's it mean? I think people are excited about tech this week. And honestly, Scott, I think people are looking for some defense. Uh, Josh said it great on Friday. Don't go out and buy staples for defense. There's good quality names and big tech. There's dividend payers out there. If you want to take shelter somewhere, I think big tech is still going to represent that over the course of the next couple of months, particularly if we see slowing and, and a little bit of shine off of the cyclicals.